için asıl. Hey. Ah, tu deu que? Tá na pega só no que só tinha eu lá. E foi com? É que não é que magoa com a tona aqui. Nem csoda, hogy Zsigmond minket választott, Mi? és nem Mi ezt a kapcsolat gyűrű hét. Kontroll, mielőtt lövök, semmi dolgod itt. Semmi keresni valód itt. Pusztulj innen, vagy átjuk asztalak. Mi a szart Hé, hey, te! Azonnal fordulj meg! Look at that. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. <laughs> Beszarás! És pont amikor kedvem lenne valakiből kiverni a lelket! Hey, 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 csinálsz Nem hiszem el! Elég volt! Emberek! Vigyázzak! Vigyázzak! Itt a mellett! Mit akarsz ott? Kotródj mielőtt lövök! Look at that. Those heathens are a lot tidier than the bandits. Well, you won't be shooting these arrows. Ki 
Ugh. Oh my God! Help! Murderer! Murder! What I... Caught you. What? Don't play the innocent. You crippled someone, you bastard. Not to mention other immoral acts. This definitely won't come cheap. You learn crime doesn't pay. Be off now. You don't belong here. Well? Do something! My God! Over there! Help! Over there!
Well then, speak up. I'm back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Privislavitz. It used to belong to Sir Divish before Havel Maddock attacked and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organised. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from routing some rabble out of the woods. I tried to count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else. And I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defence. There's a lot of them. I couldn't even count them all. Christ. We'll have to gather armed forces from the whole region to defeat them. Even if it means leaving towns and villages unprotected. Every able-bodied man will have to come with us. It's mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them. But underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. I took a look at their arms and armour. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? There's a few of them and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? I managed to destroy some of their arrow supplies, so they'll have less ammunition. Well done. That's just what we need. That's all, sir. Don't worry, Henry. You've proven yourself an excellent spy. I need you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell Sir Robard to bring all his men leaving only a minimum guard at the castle, and to send a message to Sir Hanush to send his men too. I'll leave our camp almost empty as well. We'll need every man we can muster. All right, I'll get going. And be quick. We've no time to spare. God be with you.
Okay, who's there? God save you, Henry. What the? How are you, Henry? May the Lord watch over you. Greetings. What do you need? God save, my lord. I hope things are peaceful in your fiefdom. Peace? Peace is rare in these times. But right now I'm more troubled by politics than warfare. What's wrong? The monastery stalled the purchase of stone and everything connected to the building project. <laughs> and now I find out. It's because of the quality of the stone blocks, or so they say. I don't believe a word of it. It looks like profiteering to me. What do they say is wrong with the stone? Supposedly there was an accident when one of the stone blocks broke loose, fell, and killed someone. But the quarry master swears by all the saints it isn't possible. He says he sends only the best stone, and I believe him. He's reliable and an experienced quarryman. Profiteering? What's the monastery trying to accomplish? To lower the price. What else? We've already given them a fair price, and they still delay with payment. Or worse. Worse? You mean they'll stop paying completely? You could put it that way. They're looking for an excuse to back out of the contract and find another quarry where they'll be able to secure a more favourable deal. And is anyone dealing with the problem? Well, my Chamberlain is in charge of it, as always. But all he's done is send them a letter. He says putting more pressure on the monastery could provoke them. Those are his words. So there's nothing else that can be done? I don't know. I've been thinking about taking a more direct approach. But I expect the Chamberlain won't even hear of it. He'll just keep on sending them polite letters and hoping that does the trick. I could help with this. Do you think this is a job for you? You aren't even in my service. I do serve Sir Radzik. He knows he can rely on me when he needs me, and I've never let him down. This is true. So do you want to go to Sassau and ask about the stone? Yes, I'll do it. Good. I'd like you to ask about the stone and keep your ears open. See if they aren't talking about another quarry. I'll do my best. Hopefully they'll talk to me. They will. You ride in my name. So don't forget to remind them of it. God bless you. What troubles you? Sir Radzik sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set God up say, camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzik wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzik wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzik is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzik said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? We can't leave Talmberg unguarded. We've no choice, sir. The bandits have an awful lot of men. Sir Radzig is leaving his camp almost empty as well. He even said you should send word to Sahanish to send his men too. We need every man we can muster. All right then. Sir Radzig knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? I'll have to quickly get ready first. All right, but don't keep us waiting. 
They probably won't be expecting us, and we must take advantage of that while we can. Good health, you. I'd like to improve. Certainly. Hey, I'd like to hone my. All right. Maybe another time. Greetings. I'm ready. May God be with you in battle. Radzik. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did, but I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force, and right under our noses? We'll just have to find out, but I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described, and I will have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp, so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. Directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers... It's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. Well, I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. We'll approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Forward march! To the bridge, quickly! Get to the other march! side, as many of you as possible, Forward! and hold your position there.
Don't pursue them! Stay in formation! Forward, march! Go! Those archers before we're all shot!
Deal with those archers before we're all shot!
Take down those archers, quickly! Hey! Is Jesus! There? What is it?
What do you think you're doing? Henry, I'm glad you came. Good health to you. God save you, Henry. Good day, Henry. Henry, I'm glad you came.
God be with you, lad. What can I... I'm ready. May God... What? It's narrow. Approach from the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Go, go, go! To the bridge, quickly! Get to the other side, as many of you as possible! Hold your position there! Some of you take the left flank. We'll attack in two places at once! Arrow! Shields overhead! All right. 